But yeah, I'm excited to get to the end of this. We're so close. We're so close. Okay, good, automatically. I got my cup of coffee here. We're ready. We're ready to go. Mm, so good. So there is... I think it's Coffee Mates. That is the brand that is putting out... Hey, Ammon! Welcome in. Well, let's see what direction I need to go way um so coffee mates has a new creamer out right now it is rice crispy treat it's so yummy <laughs> it basically it's it's the rice crispy treat it tastes like rice crispy treat cereal in my coffee and it's so good Um, ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba bum For those of you who were not here for the last session of this game, we got a huge chunk of this played the other day. Um, we're nearing the end. I am probably going to be getting one of the bad endings because. We ate a lot of people last session. You're talking about the crumble cookie? Oh no, creamer. Yeah, no, 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 creamer. I'm talking about creamer. So it tastes like Rice Krispie Treat cereal in my coffee. It's so good. We ate a lot of people last time because it's the fastest way to level. And I was feeling a little under leveled. It's half the reason why the game was taking us so long because random encounters were even taking us forever. But, um. A large percentage of people I just kind of decimate now. And it's nice. <laughs> Sounds yummy. It is so yummy. I highly recommend it. It's so good. Nom. This is despicable. Rude. <laughs> Holy, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. See, two hits, and these guys are down. You're strong. Okay, this is a dead end. So we gotta go this way. Um, right now, what we are doing in the story is we have found out that Dr. Swansea was is basically responsible for the scowl outbreak because he was using Elizabeth Ashbury's blood as transfusion blood for human patients. So whatever's going on with her blood, um, it creates scowls. And she did not react to that news very well. So we are trying to put together a serum to help with that. Low level guys, I take out a one hit now. It's so satisfying. <laughs> Where 
we're almost to the next piece of the antidote. Yeah, I think we're creating the serum for Elizabeth? Excuse you! problem with being this strong is I don't get to feed as often. I noticed. That's kind of a... bad thing. Yeah, this game does have four different endings we learned, so we probably will be playing it again in the future. Truth the weapon just to feed? I don't know. Maybe. If we get that desperate. I have plenty of weak weapons I can switch over to. But I'm also just trying to finish. You butt much. See, some of these guys I can feed on. If McCullum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient in my recipe. Oh, we gotta find McCullum. McCullum, who I... turned? I could have spared him, but I figured he would have just come after me. Find McCullum. He's right there. Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to mock me, Reed? Not at all, McCullum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Oh, I Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic? Yep. Why would you... Ah... Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to, but I must know more. What precisely are your plans? I have found the carrier, McCollum. The infection source. It may be science, or some supernatural power that's responsible for all this. But I will harness either or both to end the epidemic. A vampire doctor? My god, you're a terrifying creature. Jonathan Emmett Reed. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. 
Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. See, and if he had just listened to me from the beginning, we wouldn't have had to fight. I wouldn't have been tempted and felt forced to turn him so that he would understand the situation. But no. Thank you. I don't want to talk to him more. And farewell, Macub. Unbelievable as it is. I wish you good luck, Reed. At least he finally gets it. I had to turn him. To get it. Alright, we just gotta go with the last ingredient. I can't go that way. Okay. If anything... You know, if this game wasn't actually good, but it is, so no, no fear of that. I can't believe I'm um, doing this. If anything, the soundtrack would be really good. The score is excellent for this game. Actually, let me go back this way. There might be a shortcut through here. There often is. We need the last ingredient to make that. Wrong. Aha, that's what I wanted. Oh, no, it wasn't silly. Sorry, it just means we have to go all the way around this block. As long as those guys don't get a chance to swing, I can take them without any problem. <laughs> those guys can be a pain. Oh, I don't need to eat that. Pardon me, I was like, eat the rat! But I didn't need to right now. wrong turn does this not take me anywhere i thought maybe nope oh well three less skulls Ah! 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 
forgot she was this floaty one. I hate those floaty ones. Alrighty. This way. You mean convince Harry to drop his gun? Is Harry here? Is Harry still alive? Hello? No, I'm pretty sure Harry's dead. Yep, I think that's him. Darn. I was gonna feed on Harry. But he passed before I had the chance. I was gonna end his miserable existence that he was very unhappy with. Those ones don't explode when you f finish them off by feeding? Whoa, hold up, sir. Go keep fighting each other. Jeez, that was annoying. Oh, I don't have the green one. sure what I need is here. Ah, oh, we'll come back to this in a second. We're gonna need it to make the serum anyway. garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage. Here we go.
Downstairs? That's what I need. Not a good place for a stroll. Find more! One of you way down the hall. I don't have to hurt any of you, except for the fact that you guys all assault me first. No asking, no, hey, hey, what are you up to, doctor? It's just, get them on sight! Ah! Human population is going to be depleted when this is over. It's locked. Mm. Wonder who has that key. I hope it doesn't put me too far back. That'd be annoying. No. Okay. Not too far back.
Smash. Smash. Filthy piece of shit. Actually, it does so much damage with this stupid little arm thing. Jonathan. All right. That was the wrong serum. Dang it. That was a waste. That's all right. I should be able to make more of that. Still helpful though. Oh, this one's life. Mm, it's also blood points. That's good. Oh, apparently it wasn't down here. What a waste! Maybe it's upstairs. Or it's out back. Maybe it's upstairs in this area? Maybe it's in this little room? No, I think it's probably upstairs, but like in this same area. Yeah. 
That's where we came in at. Oh. I could have come up out here so long ago. <laughs> I even approached that door and I was like, nah, I'll check the rest of the building. So it is in there somewhere. So, Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. Okay, so it's gotta be in here. It's gotta be in here. Is it downstairs that I missed it? Pretty sure I searched everything, but maybe I didn't. Perhaps I missed it, clearly. Oh, perhaps it's upstairs. I didn't go upstairs yet. Remember when we spent like two hours looking for something and it was like really easy thing that I just happened to miss? Yeah. I hope this isn't one of those. Not what I was going for, but you know, it's fine. There it is. Ah. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis. And much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu. Okay, find a hideout to create the antidote. Okay. I've got one. Nearby. I'll just go back to my room here at the hospital. Are there any people left? Or are they all hunters and skulls? Are there any patients or doctors left? Let's take a look. Uh, 
Oh. That doesn't look good for anyone. <laughs> Okay, there's... Good evening, Mr. Evening, Doctor. How's he doing? Okay, he's good. Goodbye for now. Yeah. Ah, the pain. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical... I'm afraid I... Not under my watch, no. Thank you. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. Poor Dr. Swansea. He was the only one to stand up to those brutes. And oh. now they've dealt with him. Where is Dr. Swansea? I don't know. I hid behind a tent. I saw nothing. I like how he asks, where's Dr. Swansea? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. You know dang well, Jonathan, where Dr. Swansea is. Good evening, Miss Howard. I need blood, Doctor. Yeah, I don't think I have any for you, ma'am. Sorry. I'll leave you. Oh, the pain. Oh, I'm just, gonna, I'm just doing some doctor stuff really quick before... I go make this serum for Elizabeth. Good evening, Nurse Brannick. Good evening, Doc. Okay, she's good. Goodbye, Nurse. I don't think I have what he needs, but we'll, do, we'll evening, go Dr. see if Reed. anything has changed. Nope. Goodbye, Dr. T go check on our 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 pair over here hello again good evening dr reed i am doing my rounds goodbye mr unfortunately i can't help his partner which makes me sad i don't have what i need to help him milton do you need any medication good evening milton good evening I have some good news. What? The epidemic's over? Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? How are you doing, Mondragon? We're just, we're almost done with this game. So. Goodbye, Milton. We're finishing up here. I wouldn't actually normally stream on a Sunday, but here we are. I just, we're so close. Let's see. Right now I'm just doing some doctor rounds. Good evening, Mr. I'm okay. I have to. Okay, he is doing okay. Doctor. Good evening. How is mom doing? Mom's doing good. Okay. Goodbye. Hold on. We're definitely getting good evening, Mr. Um, good evening. probably one of the bad endings for this. <laughs> Just Goodbye FYI. For now. There are four different endings, and I'm pretty sure we're getting a bad one because I've. I've munched on a significant amount of people. Okay, I need to... Go upstairs. Checked on Mr. Tippett's. 
<laughs> yeah. Things got kind of out of control, and then I just decided to eat people. There's some people I ate because they were rude, some people I ate because I, I was doing them a favor. The blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. Dude, this music track. We go. Glad they've got opium just lying around in boxes for me. Actually pretty good with that. However, we'll see. We shall see. I don't remember which sewer I need to be in. I'm hoping that we can get to her this way. Just gonna kind of let them do their thing. It's fine. Just let them duke it out. all diseased. I probably don't want to eat the- okay. Yuck. Okay, that was not the right way to go. Wrong sewer entrance. Yeah, let's go to a different one. That just seems like a lot of useless fighting down there that I don't need to do.
working on it. It's like, get to the hive! care about that side door. I don't know. Because it was new to me and I was like, ooh. Out of your misery. There we go. Find a sewer entrance. It's locked. Are you kidding me? At this point in the game, we still have locked doors? We're still not strong enough to just jump over a locked door? Come on, Jonathan. I feel like I should be able to just jump over stupid fences like that. Like, I am a mighty vampire. getting to the closer part of town now we just gotta find a sewer entrance oh well there's a lot of people down that lane best stay back sir Yep, I'm just gonna go this way, okay? We're in the night shelter's vicinity, which I believe we can get to the sewer from the night shelter, if I remember correctly, so... Bad things happened here. It's locked, all right. Oh, nope, that doesn't get me anywhere. It's locked, all right. I for sure thought I remembered there being... This 
somewhere. where uh, Sean finally submit. Oh yeah, we should be able to. I have this. Sorry, little dude. For blood. I needed it. Okay, yeah, here we go. This should be the right way. See, it's another dusty, smoky, gross day outside. It's beautiful. Okay. This place has been ransacked. They've all been slaughtered. Prewen. No, not their style. Where has Harriet gone? I'm pretty she sure she must have left a trail I could follow. She did the one do. She 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 done did the the do. She done did the duty do. The slaughter do. I think she's gonna be my final boss. Where is old Bridget? Damn. If I'd come earlier, they would still be alive. Well, alive. You know, as alive as a skull can be. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, this guy's back for a conversation. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. No, I am prepared. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern, scientific answer to this ancient, mystical thread. What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. <laughs> How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Speak to me. The blood of hate, vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. Hey, devil woman, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am.
But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. Blood? You are made of blood? Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. Wild. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. Heard. The well from which this corruption oh, flows. No, I have sorry. heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. Oh, the I will to devils. strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. I'm glad you could be here too. Especially since I don't normally stream on Tell me about this disaster creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. <laughs> I'm so hyped. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the Queen of Blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic goddess of war? Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this. She is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge. My champion, Bittersweet. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. So it wasn't, like, a physical vampire that turned Jonathan. It was that guy. Who's made of blood. 
is blood. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. Final boss arena. Be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, you must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How? Dare you interfere and with the Red Queen's plans, Who understands Doctor? This How can you right. stop the course of nature? My poor baby! Where is she now? Ah! Uh oh. She's about to assault me. <laughs> I need to change. Disaster, Harriet. That's her name. She gonna have another phase? Oh, nope. Oh. about to get hit.
constitution stuff again and that's stamina and that's also stamina well stamina is good but it's not what I want right now focused so if you're chatting I'm, I'm sorry <laughs>
No, feed me. Okay, that's cool. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You just need to back You've up. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Yeah, they suffered Until a lot. Until the next time. Until the next time. It's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. I did it. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered, with all the other Suascars. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's all over now. The epidemic has been stopped. Yay. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. Even if no one's May gonna I ask know you it. just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury. When we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. I'm like really London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence.
For now, we are safe. For now. Until next time. My craving for blood remains. Red like hate. Red like hunger. Red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another. From predator to victim. Patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now. But there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Yes, we will see what happens. <laughs> I got a little putt putt car. Oh, I have a big putt putt car. Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I better hurry. Um, you should probably wait till the sun's done going down. <laughs> what are we doing, bro? Oh, you're back. Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. I don't really care about any of those. I really no. only care about this right now. I must know why <laughs> Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural. My God, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words you no longer hear the simplest ones. Speak clearly then. And answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. I cannot enter. Right. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. I still have a problem with gates stopping me. Like, that's silly. I'm a freaking vampire. Gates should not stop me. Um, can we not let the- what's going on? 
Why are we like chilling with the sun? Mary Inglewood. Robin Inglewood. It's locked, all right. No good. The lady of the manor isn't expecting visitors. Well, no, she told you to leave her alone. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. Let's see. London, August 4th, 1865. Dear Lady Ashbury, thank you for your recent letter and all the good news it contains. I cannot wait to finally meet you when you arrive in London. The garden is beautiful under the summer sky, although I noted your wish to avoid heat and direct sunlight because of your frail health. You're welcome any day. Um, we'll discuss this wonderful idea of yours concerning the foundation of an orphanage of four young ladies inspired by the French Massian Royal de Saint Louis, sadly closed when the French people chose my god, I can't even write these words down to cut their king's head off. <laughs> Such a place um, destined to provide a good education to gift to gifted but poor orphan girls will surely excite my friends here in the city. You can count on me and my influence to help make your project a huge success. It's locked, all right. awful lot of light that comes in to this castle. She doesn't she didn't do a very this good job of falling apart. vampirizing it. Oh. Well, here we are. That sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently. Ashbury, I write to confirm that my men will be at your castle next Monday to begin the new work on the crypt and its access. Ah, the plans have been approved and I'll personally be on site to supervise the installation of the locks and security measures you have requested. I also can assure you that my men have been briefed about never entering the crypt itself or the second floor of the castle. I must say I'm proud to continue and enhance the work stated started by my great-grandfather when employed by your ancestor in 1795. I'm sure it wasn't her ancestor that employed him. I'm sure that's a big fireplace. I'm sure it was uh, herself. I'm sh oh, this door's not locked. This part of the game just forget that we're vampires. They're like, oh, it'll be fun if we have. This painting looks suspicious. I can't believe I'm doing this. Cool. Neat. We're still looting at this. Oh no, we're just finding letters. 1807, Miss Ashbury. When last we communicated, you asked for the. Con Conveyance of a large coffin from Temple Church, London, to the crypt of the Ashbury Castle in Scotland. I'm happy to report your request has finally been validated. My drivers have been informed that for... I just lost place. Hold on. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, for security reasons, guards must always protect the coffin. You have hired these individuals who will be waiting for us in London. They also have been informed that under no circumstance should the carriage try to pass a river by boat, but always by road and bridges for the precious wood and the relics inside the coffin cannot be exposed to humidity and moisture. You'll find a detailed quote for the entire operation attached to this letter. We are ready to go to London as soon as payment is received in full. Very respectfully, Samuel Lewis. Be 
its senses. Okay, why are my senses? Oh, a sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. came in. Okay. Alright. Maybe it's because it's not direct sunlight it's not hurting me. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Sorry, little guys. I, I may or may not blood. need. Okay, that's where I came in. I guess it had to be. Yeah, I'm like, it's so weird. Like, maybe the windows are foggy enough. Oh, hold up. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. One last switch. Uh -huh. Okay, so looking for Here's another switch. A moon. I should keep looking. So we found the sword. We're gonna be in the same room? switch and what do you mean one last switch we only needed a sun and a moon right I mean a sword and a moon voila oh we had to push the moon first cool reading 12 17 oh this is a long this is a long thing to read that's a that's a lot that's a lot to read oh all right let's dive in 12 17 an angel came to me blessed be to god michael appeared to me last night in all his glory shaped in glorious blood uh-huh. Yeah, it was Michael. To grant me eternal life at the dusk of my life. The apparition was so sublime and terrible that I could not help but lower my head and close my eyes. Struck by the divine gift, I fell to the ground only to awake the next night. You will serve me as you served your kings, said the angel before striking me with all his power. You will protect this land through the eons to come. For all who knew me, I should now hide and retreat. For they consider me dead. Soon I will leave the company of men to serve my new purpose. Blessed be God. 1350. Michael appeared to me last night in my retreat under Temple, under temple Church and asked me to prepare for battle. The land must be saved. Death is everywhere. The Black Death, an epidemic sent by the devil himself to punish mortals all over the world. My arm is strong. In the name of God, I shall smite the enemies of mankind. England shall prevail. Um, 1569. It is almost 20 years since my fight started against the devil and ended. Um, oh, and the end is uncertain. For the, From time to time, the plague, the Black Death, reappears in a village, in a town. And each time, the vicious minions of hell approach to get to get their share of mortal suffering. Vampires, dreadful creatures, I won't let this land collapse until my last breath. I'll serve and protect England. 1578. Tonight, in the small village of Hoddesdon, Hoddesdon, 
I met the most delicate soul I've ever seen for a long time. She was singing for the dead, singing for those she knew and loved, those killed by a new plague outbreak. Uh, without fearing for her life, her voice moved me, so I chose to let her live. I offered her eternal life as a reward for her virtue and most pious attitude. Her name is Elizabeth Inglewood. So Elizabeth is old. I'm not alone anymore. Together we shall praise God in all his glory for the eons to come. 1618. My heart is breaking. My soul is bleeding. Tonight my dear Elizabeth left me. I have taught her all I knew and she needed to know. Now she must walk her own path through the ages. This is her wish and I will respect it. Elizabeth Englewood, my sweet daughter, is gone for she now wants to be known as Elizabeth Blackwood. I made her- No, I'm still reading game. I'm sorry that I read slow. <laughs> I made her a promise. If she ever comes back to Hoddesdon, she will find me there managing the bull in her parents owned before dying. William Marshall shall disappear for a few times too now that the Black Death is no more. Until we meet again, I shall be known as William Thorne, awaiting, uh, waiting for my angel to come back. 1665 the devil is at work again the great plague is back reaping thousands of lives in london i must sell the bull in and go there once more william marshall shall protect the land 1666 what have i done i let the devil infect me god forgive me the terrifying creature i had to defeat was a demon straight from hell an abomination of the flesh a walking apocalypse i had to trap the dreadful creature in saint paul's church and set the building on fire without the advice of michael i don't know if i could have defeated my enemy the flames cleanse the city of the demon's presence but the half but half of london is burnt down Ever since, I have dreamt of a red flood, of slaughter and rage. It's like the disaster had tainted my blood, my very soul. For the first time in centuries, I am afraid. I shall crawl back to my retreat and pray to God for mercy of my infected, for my infected soul. 1667. Elizabeth came to me. She said she felt my pain and rushed to save me. My poor daughter, blinded by rage, intoxicated by the blood of hate. I bit her. She fled, shocked by my betrayal. I laughed and cried as she cursed me. God, have I betrayed you? Have you abandoned me? 1712. My prayers have been heard. I have found the strength to resist the need for blood, the never-ending hunger. My poor Elizabeth, will you ever forgive me? I have heard you now kill and take pleasure in bloodbath, and this is this new progeny of yours. You are a victim in all this. What have I done? I swear I will find a way to make amends of what I have done to you. I swear I shall only rest once I know how to appease the blood of hate. Oh, we're almost there. So much reading. So much reading, but so much story. Uh, 1785, the Brotherhood of the St. Paul's Stole finally agreed to meet me in London. They proposed to meet me inside the new cathedral of St. Paul, like the wit and solemnity of these... Oh, I like the wit and solemnity of these men when a symbol to choose the place where I defeated this disaster, but also the place where I fell. I agreed to their proposition. There, in the sacred silence of the church and under the eye of God, they respectfully listened to me. They acknowledged my victory against this evil creature, the Dus Astro, the Eater of Stars, who only wished to spread death and pestilence all around her. Since they acknowledged my will to save London in 1666, they heard my request by burning... I'm still reading! Ugh. See, my burning desire to stop the blood of hate. Their primate promised to come back to me with an answer. The primate of St. Paul wrote back to me with just a name, the Tear of Angels. According to him, this ancient artifact could heal anything, cleanse any blackened soul, and purify my blood. Blessed be the Lord, it took me more than a hundred years to find a cure for the blood of hate, but I ha but I may finally have found it. Soon the rage shall end. Soon I may repair the wrong and let's see, I did and cleanse my failures. Now all I need to do is retrieve the necessary ingredients to create the artifact. Blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of a king. To find such rare ingredients is not what worries me. For time is on my side. It's the last part that worries me. Pure essence of garlic. I'm afraid it will literally hurt like hell when I drink the antidote. But that's 
the price to pay to cleanse the soul and correct my mistakes. I am ready to endure this excruciating pain. We're almost there. We're almost there. 1786. I finally managed to gather all the ingredients needed to concoct the tear of angels. Blood of the purest heart for the fortitude. Blood of a king for courage. Garlic essence for the painful cleansing. After months of impatience, um, almost me. Oh. After months of impatience almost made me mad by the hunger. I waited again and again until finally Elizabeth cautiously came to me. As promised, I had changed myself to be sure I would not attack her again. Oh, chained myself to make sure that I would not attack her again. I did not recognize my sweet daughter at first, for she only was Lady Blackwood now, the dreadful mistress of the dark who took delight in slaughter and carnage in France. She smirked as I apologized and cried for what I had inflicted her with. She shouted at me when I tried to explain to her that my bite had infected her, had given her the blood of hate, now burning in her veins and her soul. I told her I found a cure and that I had managed to create one dose of the antidote. I gave it to her to give to her oh to give her back her precious peaceful life. In exchange I only asked her to take care of me, for I intended to be locked down in my tomb, chained if necessary, to impeach me from feeding on any mortal or immortal. She reluctantly took the tear of angels and left. I hope to see her again soon, cured and at peace. 1794. She came back to me finally, cured, healthy, and joyful, my Elizabeth. She told me she had drunk the antidote about a year ago in France, after witnessing and taking part in the massacre of an entire orphanage caused by the blood of hate. That is when the Lady Blackwood died, she said. She, she promised she would take care of me now. That is all I ask. Um, all I ask as I repent for the murdered souls caused by my negligence of more than a hundred years. 1795. My dearest daughter came back last week to tell me the good news. She has recently bought a castle in Scotland. She will soon finance the renovation of the castle crypt to provide me a new retreat, far from temptation, far from the noisy, crowded cities. I can't wait to embrace the solitude, find the peace I need to refrain from killing. God, please give me the strength to resist the urges during the journey from London to my new domain. Before I leave, I should give a copy of these memoirs to the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll. Without the most shameful and sensible information, of course. Soon I shall leave upon... Oh, leave London to pursue my penance. There I shall find peace at last with the support of my... Resicated... Elizabeth. Whoo, that was a lot to read, but I feel like it was important for the story, so there it is. Oh, I see there were just two paths. Yeah, you were very welcome, devil. <laughs> it was interesting, and it, it gave us a lot of insight, so I am glad that I took the time to read it, even though it was a mouthful. Literally. Drop your sword, father. You have nothing to be afraid of. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. Why is he blue? He's so Blood dead. He's approaching. Blue. Old but young. Uh, how strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, father. What took you so long, Jonathan? <laughs> Is this... really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. First Earl of Pembroke. Servant of five mortal kings. Former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. 
And you called him father. For he gave me eternal life and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. What do you mean? What do you mean a few minutes? What's gonna happen? What is happening? I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover in time. The city has suffered, but it will prevail in the end. A more cynical analysis would be that this is an acceptable catastrophe. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation and the will of a creature so inexplicably evil she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. What about us? What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. That you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse. Sappy. Forgetting the danger as you turned your back, like the newborn fool you were. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? Come closer so I can nibble on you. <laughs> I found your research on the antidote. The tears of the angels. What ingredients did you use? Once I understood what the ingredients were, I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood of the valiant Bodicea. The 
blood of hate, how does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You would never defeat it. healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. You're only... Wherever no. I go, it's... I can't stand This only happened because of Dr. Swansea. It's I not your fault. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. Smooch! <sighs> that is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. How could I trust you, Jonathan? Have you not betrayed me? What? I had choices to make. I forgive you, and that is my choice. <sighs> but no! Elizabeth, I love you. Then let me go now. Wait! No! Like, for real, she doesn't have to die here, like... <sighs> I know, but... Had to. <laughs> like, for real though, she didn't. Because, like, that only happened because Dr. Swansea did blood transfusion with One her prayer blood. for the summoned, called by this song. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung, and your path chosen. England is safe. But the cost was dire. Blood 
and tears, both parched by cleansing flames. You've lost your way, my champion bittersweet. I am moved to pity as I feel your rampant rage void of purpose or meaning. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. She killed herself because you evil. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks. But for real, though, Devil, like, the game was so much harder. Um, wait, like, she got your kiss before she killed herself. I mean, that's true. Um, but, like, gosh, I think I would have rather had the, like, serial killer ending as opposed to the grieving ending. Poor Jonathan. Um,. But yeah, no, mechanically, for real, the game was so much harder by avoiding eating people. Like, I was trying to eat as few people as possible, and it was so hard. <laughs> I was doing, like, so little damage, and my life was so little, and, like, yesterday, not yesterday, uh, two days ago when we played this, on Friday, um... After eating, like, a ton of people, there was, like, a significant difference. I was like, I am mighty! <laughs> and I guess that's kind of the point. It's like, by giving in to that, of course, you're stronger, but you're gonna... You're gonna get your, your sadder, darker self and ending. So, I mean, it makes sense, but, like, from a gameplay standpoint, it was like, yes, I want this game to be a little bit easier. If you've gotten side quests from more people to help you speed things along. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna do um, next time. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna set this game aside for a little while. Um, but I'm glad that we finished it. That ending was sad, but like it made sense. So it's fine. I mean it kind of made sense. I don't feel like Elizabeth had to take her life, but I feel like it's okay. Like, I I get it. I get where she's coming from. So. But yeah. I mean, it's really good. It's a really good game overall. Some of the mechanics are a little... Not mechanics, even. It's like some of the hitboxes <laughs> leave to be desired. Um... But overall, it was really great. I really like the actor that plays Jonathan. Uh, he's really cool. I really liked the story. Um, the soundtrack was really great. I really liked um, the like artsy cutscenes. <gasps> Thanks, Ammon. Good to see you. But yeah, I really like this. We will play it again down the line to try and get um, another 